Hey guys, with today's video, I'm going to be doing a Riri inspired carpet look that I saw she had with this wet short bob look and this beautiful makeup look. So for the hair portion, I actually made this wig from scratch and I teamed up with Julie Hair to make my very first wig ever. I'm going to leave all the information that you need to know down below in the description box. This came with a closure and three bundles, but I only ended up using two, which is why I'm only showing you the two. For the lace, I did want to bleach it just to make sure that it matched my skin tone, so I went ahead and took some bleach and some of the developer and I mixed it up making sure that the consistency was very thick that way it only sat on top of the lace and it didn't seep through and it didn't bleach my hair so I won't have blonde roots I saw a lot of videos that told you not to do that so that's how I know anyways I left it on for 20 minutes and here I'm showing you that I chose this lace cap on that I got at Sally's. It actually has an elastic here to tighten it so you can tighten it around your head. Once I bleached and rinsed, I let that dry overnight and I took my lace closure and actually pinned it onto the front, lined it up there on the lace cap and I began sewing so i'm not a professional sewer but this is actually pretty easy all you're gonna do is take your needle whip it through and then create loops in a knot and you're gonna keep doing that it's pretty repetitive and i'm gonna follow the seam along the the perimeter of the closure now this is my very first time working with this type of hair the first thing i noticed was how soft and realistic the hair felt it was almost kind of creepy like having chunks of someone's hair in your hand the hair also if you can see like naturally has these um highlights that our hair naturally has so I didn't notice any shedding and the hair did not feel heavy at all. So something that really surprised me about it. So in the end result when everything came together, it literally felt like I was holding someone's hair. Once I got that, I took the bundles, I lined it up to the bottom line there of the cap and I started sewing that and I actually started doubling up the bundles to make it a little thicker. Again, this was my first time, but if you would like a video showing exactly how I did everything step by step, I can definitely do that for you in the near future. Once so I got my wig pretty much set, I went ahead and I took it out and inside the cap, you're gonna notice that of course, there's this extra piece there that wasn't sewed onto your wig. And you're gonna wanna cut around, being very careful that you don't cut close to where you sewed because you don't want your wig to fall apart after you worked so hard on it. I then put it back on my mannequin head and I started plucking the root just to make sure that it looked a little more natural, not so wiggy and Barbie-like. And then I was ready to be styled, so I went ahead and put my wig cap on, looking super attractive, super cute. I put the wig on and I began wetting it just to get the look we were going for. I wet it, I combed through it. Once I had it the way I wanted it to look when it was wet, I went ahead and cut it and I cut through it until I got the desired length that I wanted. I then of course took some Eco Styler Gel and I combed it through the hair and scrunched it just so I made sure that the hair kept that wet look. The gel will just ensure that it keeps that look all day. I laid the wig down a little bit, but I didn't go all in because I was gonna do my makeup and that usually sometimes messes me up. So, really quickly for the makeup part, this is actually super easy, super simple. I went ahead and I used this Luminizer from Bostia. I'm really not sure how you pronounce this. I put that all over my face and then I took my Maybelline Matte Fit Me Poreless Foundation, nothing new. I went ahead and I just Buff that into my skin with my booty blender. I then took my Wet n Wild concealer, placed that under my eyes, tapped that in. Then I took my Black Radiance setting powder, my Black Radiance banana setting powder, and I set that in to make sure I removed any of the shine in areas that I didn't want it. I took some of my The Bomb Cosmetics Tony Bronzer and I bronzed up my cheeks so Rihanna did have like a bronzy look. And then of course I added some blush because Rihanna in the picture did seem to have some blush on her cheeks so I went ahead and did that. And then I went ahead and I popped on some highlighter onto my cheeks and nose just to heighten that a little more, that glow that she had. The eyes is very, very simple as well. I went ahead and took a brown color 
from my Beach Naked Palette 2 and I warmed it up on the crease. And then I took a nice bright gold shadow and placed that right on top. Rihanna's look did have a very simple look but it was very glowy, very golden so that's what I was trying to achieve here and then went ahead and took like a clean blending brush and just made sure to blend all of that in get rid of any harsh lines I then took some mascara applied that on my bottom lash and with an angled brush I dipped into a dark brown shadow and applied sort of like a wing look because Rihanna's eyes did have like that cat eye winged out effect so that's what I went ahead and recreated and to top it all off the showstopper is definitely the red lip I'm using this red lip from Estee Lauder in the color controversial of course I'm pretty sure Rihanna was using her uncensored. I went ahead and made sure that the wig was nice and laid again and this is a completed look. I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, let me know if you guys want to see a more detailed version of how I created the wig. All the information you need to know will be down in the description box for where you can get this hair.